You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I'm back. Rodrance for Black and White Sports. Let's talk about something that Beijing Biden, uh, Creepy Jose, one of the uh, orders he is trying to get passed or maybe already has gotten passed is to allow transgenders to compete as athletes in schools and at universities. And in case you're wondering, what exactly does that mean? That means that a biological male could go out and compete against females, actual women, women that were born women, uh, compete against them in organized sporting competition. Okay, and you might be like, well, that creates a lot of, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Now, what's happened is you are, you are getting states that are stepping up, and they are fighting back. Okay, they are pushing back against what they feel are issues involving, I would guess, both, both the difference in physicality when these uh, competitions would happen and... Look, just the general destruction of the moral compass in the country. Let's be honest. Let's just keep it real, okay? Mississippi bans young gender athletes from competing on female sports teams. And we will take a look at this. This is from Business Insider. Uh, I'm going to tell you, I believe this thing leans left, so just keep that in mind as I'm reading it. Mississippi voted on Thursday to ban young transgender athletes from competing in women's sports at state schools and universities. According to the AP, the state's Senate, which is controlled by Republicans, passed the bill 34 to 9 with very little prior discussion. The bill will be voted on in the Mississippi House of Representatives, where Republicans also hold the majority. Quote, I have had numerous coaches across the state call me and believe that they feel there's a need for a policy in Mississippi because they are beginning to have concerns of having to deal with this. The bill's sponsor, Senator Angela Hill, told her colleagues before the vote, according to the AP, Mississippi is not the first state to pass legislation in relation to transgender rights this year. Within the first two weeks of 2021, lawmakers in at least 14 states, including Montana and North Dakota, proposed bills that would restrict the freedoms of LGBTQ residents, according to the LGBTQ LMNOP advocacy group, Freedom for All Americans. Most of these bills impact young trans people in athletics. We'll get to that in a minute. Those in favor of the restrictions argue that having athletes who are born male uh, compete among women gives an unfair advantage. And it does. Meanwhile, those again, who fight the restrictions call it discriminatory, harmful, and transphobic. Okay, so let's just talk about this real fast. Let's be honest. That is one of the issues. You're uh, sending you. You've got a you've got a daughter, and she's going out, and she's been training, works hard. She's one of the best track athletes in the state. She may go to state this year, but all of a sudden, you have uh, Dugwina Baldwin come in. Dugwina Baldwin was born Doug Baldwin, okay? And he wants to compete against your daughter in a sport that she has been training in and excels in among her peers, which are all women. Now, let's be real. You're running a young man out onto the track to compete against your daughter, okay? And all of a sudden, your daughter is losing because she is competing against people that, let's just be real, were born as males. Okay? And there's 
possible genetic superiority in certain areas. Uh, you know, men can be stronger, quicker, faster. That is a thing, folks. It is a thing. And not everybody should be offended by that. That's that's just the way things uh, wash out in the biological totem pole, okay, in genetics, et cetera, et cetera. That's why you don't have a shit ton of uh, females playing in the National Football League, okay? Look, I know that offends the LGBTQ elemental P's. I know that offends them all to death. But you also, not only do you have a competitive advantage, if you go out there and you play team sports, what if they get on the court and they're playing basketball? You've got a, you've got a, and we're competing in a university. You've got a male, a man playing basketball. Let's just keep it real. I don't care what you want to call yourself after the fact. Okay, what you change your name to, uh, Kevin to Katrina, okay? You get out on the court, you are still a male competing against females, and guess what? You're out there catching rebounds, swinging your elbows around, and you could seriously hurt one of those women on the court. That is just a fact, okay? Seriously hurt them. Not only do you have a competitive advantage, But now you have a safety issue. And I'm not sure what exactly is discriminatory about being concerned about safety while on a court or on a field or on a track. Why is that discriminatory? Is it? You're you're not. So what you're saying is you're more concerned about these transgender athletes getting on the field than you are about the safety of the athletes on the field to begin with. Somebody gets out there and gets their head knocked off. Concussion. What about killed? Because somebody takes an elbow or they take a screen on a basketball court and it knocks some lady out because a 6'10 former dude named Robert just laid waste to some lady on a screen on the basketball court, and she's knocked out cold, bangs her head against the court, severely injures herself. And I've got it. look, i got to be honest with you, too. These transgender athletes that are running out there, how in the world, from a morality standpoint, do you feel good about yourself as a born biological male? How do you feel like you've accomplished anything by going out there and beating a female? Do you think that is impressive to anybody? I mean, I've just got to understand the rationale there. Because at the end of the day, I don't care what you say, you started as a male. You were a man or a boy out there beating girls. Where I come from, we're, we're taught that that ain't, that ain't looked upon all that well, okay? You don't go out there and try to compete and um, try to uh, lay down your physicality Onto females, which is what you are trying to do. And if you think, if you think in the world of competitive sports, especially when there are parents involved, they will not use in order to bring their little former Robert fame. If you believe they will not parade a man or a boy out into women's athletics because they believe they got a better chance of winning. If you think that's not going to be a thing just to create an unfair advantage, you're out of your mind. It absolutely will happen. You got some parents out there that are complete kooks that are complete nimrods when it comes to their children and their children's sports and their competition, because they want their kids to win at all costs. You ever seen these uh, young, uh, these young children beauty pageants? How cutthroat that is! You will have the same situation going on here. The crazy parent in the stand. Think about that. That's going to be a thing too. Tell me what you think, black and white sports fans. It is really good, in my opinion that states are standing up against this nonsense. And it is complete nonsense. Oh, the lack of a moral compass. Man, 
we've got to write the ship, folks. We really do. This is cringeworthy at, of epic proportions. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.